What's up guys? Welcome back to the Cheesy Desert Cooking Vlog. Today we're making some deliciously savory Persian kubide and juje. Does that sound okay, Bob? Okay. <laughs> All right, so we're making two types of kebabs. Kubide, which is a beef kebab, and juje, which is a chicken kebab. Now, if that pronunciation was wrong and it's bothering you, then buckle up, baby, because it's gonna get worse. We're gonna start by preparing the aromatics in the marinade. Here we have two onions. We're gonna grate these using a cheese grater. I'm using Parmesan because you can spell Persian with the letters in the word Parmesan. Now, that may or may not be true, but you still thought about it, so... Gotcha, bitch! Oh my God, if you thought cutting onions was hard, Grating them is way worse. Next, we're gonna peel and chop some garlic. This is my chopping knife. It's heavy, sharp, and good for flossing. Okay, chopped. Now for the meat, let's start with the chicken boobs. Next, we wanna cut the chicken into the shape of large cubes. You can use this ping pong ball as a reference. Hmm, this isn't a cube. You lied to me! You wanna make sure your chicken is fairly uniform in size so they cook evenly. If there are any rejects, just toss them aside. Next, add in half your grated onions and garlic, the juice of one lime, about two thirds cup of yogurt, two tablespoons of salt, a buttload of pepper, teaspoonish of paprika, and turmeric, and then get in there. Sex. Okay, now on to your kubide. We have here some ground beef, but this isn't ground beef. This is ground beef. <laughs> Add the rest of the onions and garlic to the beef. Salt, pepper, and turmeric. Mmm, that's hot. You know what, I forgot to add an egg. The last ingredient you want to add into both mixtures is saffron oil. I don't have real saffron oil because do you have any idea how much saffron oil costs? Bro, it's like $50 for a couple pinches. So we're gonna pretend, pretend? that this cheap ass olive oil is saffron oil. Look, I even tape money to it so it's more regal. Double fisting! Cover up the meats and let it marinate for two hours. In the meantime, I'm soaking these bamboo skewers in water to keep them from burning too quickly. Persian chefs usually use these long thick sword things, but I, like a lot of people, am fine with a shorter skinnier stick because sometimes it's more about comfort and practicality. I mean, I've been told by a lot of people that my bamboo sticks are fine and in some cases cute. What are you talking about? Nothing, get out of my room! I'm starting with the beef because it's a little bit tricky. Have a bowl of water handy because it'll help the meat stick to the stick. Start by grabbing a handful size and wrap it around the stick while squeezing up and down the shaft. Make sure your hands are wet and lubricated or else you have a sticky mess on your hands when you finish. Now we move to the juje. This is much easier. You just need to penetrate the breast with two pointy sticks at a time. Okay, we're all set. Before we hit the grill, a quick safety tip is to wear gloves when dealing with sharp objects. <laughs> Get the grill nice and hot. Usually you cook these kebabs over fiery hot coals, but I'm sure most of you out there don't own a volcano. Make sure you give some space between your meat. Also, I forgot to turn on my mic, so here's a slow panoramic shot for you ASMR heads out there. This is what a chicken sounds like when it's cooking cuckoo doodle doo. Moo, 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 I love you. Go ahead and close the lid and let it cook for about three minutes before flipping. We're gonna do about a quarter turn on each of these, then close it again for another three. Keep repeating until your meat is cooked. If you have a meat thermometer, I'd say about 140 for the beef and 155 for chicken is good. I know, I know, blah, blah, blah. Ground beef should be cooked all the way through. I bet you also don't season your food and drink out of coffee mugs with two hands while closing your eyes and saying, mmm. And there you have it, delicious, nutritious Persian kebab dinner. Here we have our kubide, juje, some pita bread, watermelon, and my special homemade organic hummus grown from my very own garbanzo beef. I'll do a recipe on this one day. Hey, what are you doing? What? Get out of here with that! Why? What about? No. Why? What? Are you That's it for today, guys. Make sure you look at Sessa. Follow me everywhere at Cheesy Does It Cooking. I got the idea to make kebabs because I went to a friend's Persian wedding. And guys, Persian weddings are dope. You really gotta see this. Used to keep it cool. Used to be a fool. All about the bouncing master. Watch it on the news. What you gonna do? I could hit refresh and forget. Used to keep it cool. <laughs>
first one to do it, and I know you're shameless. And we're so thankful to be able to share it with all of you. Uh, so from the bottom of our hearts, thank you so much. You got something to hide. We don't run the whole house down. Hey guys, here's a little tip. Don't work with fake blood. It's been three days and I've washed my hands at least 47 times. And look what happened. Stained for life. Happy birthday, Mike. Oh, yeah. Yay. We can trust you with the knives. Hey, cool B day, right? <laughs> yeah, cool B day. <laughs> way up, way up we go.